How do you think Terrell graded out in getting an opportunity there in his net game? Uh, Terrell's a really talented kid. Um, he's had a great fall camp. I, like I said, yeah, there was a lot of attention on Royce and, and deservedly so in fall camp, but Tyrell had a really good fall camp too. So um, I feel bad for Andre and he's poured his heart into this thing and he was playing well, uh, but I feel great about Tyrell. He made a few freshman mistakes, but um, we'll bring him along and he's going to be just fine. Feel comfortable starting him if necessary then? Oh yeah, we feel good with him on the field. Coach Campbell talked about his running back rotation starting time earlier and playing Royce later. How do you guys converse at all during the game about which backs to move? Does that impact your play call? Are you requested that? What do you think about that? Do you even care? Yeah, there's certain things that we would run that I'd, I'd feel more comfortable with one guy or the other on the field. Um, so I'm always curious of who's going to be out there. But um, Royce has come getting to the point that I feel comfortable with him, Thomas, Byron, and just to call just about anything that I have. Will you ever say, can we get this guy in at this point? Awesome. Yeah, I think there's certain jobs that one guy's a little better than the other at, but you know, it, it that kind of hamstrings our offense if we can only call certain things with one guy on the field or another. So it, if all three guys can do everything that we're going to ask them, then and we're better offense. What does what does Michigan State win do for your confidence in terms of as you go forward this season? You know, I think people make too much of one win and one loss. Um, this is a you know a 12, 13, maybe more game season, and you know I, I know if we'd have lost that game, that the media would have been writing that we can't win a physical game, and that Coach Helfrich is no uh, Coach Kelly, and um, since we won the game, now the Big Ten is no good and can't play in those type of games. I said it after the game. Michigan State's one of the best best teams in the country, and. Um, they had us on the mat for a while and we responded. We had them on the mat, they responded, and they had us on the mat, we responded, and that's the kind of game you have when it's two good teams playing. So uh, we're not going to overreact to a loss and we're not going to overreact to a win either. Turning your attention to Wyoming, do you have a scouting report? Um, these guys are good. I, I'm familiar with their coaches. Coach Bull was a linebacker coach in Nebraska when I was there. Um, Coach Standard was at Colorado State when my brother was there, their defensive coordinator. Uh, you know, they're a good team. They're well coached. Um, those guys had unbelievable success at North Dakota State, and I'm sure it'll carry over to Wyoming. You expected Devin Allen to be good, but you expect him to be this good for two games? Well, Devin hasn't done too much yet either. I don't want to overreact to that. Uh, he had a great game. He broke a tackle, made a long run. Uh, Dwayne Stanford did a good job. Uh, on his route to get Devin open in the game on his second touchdown. Uh, I think the sky's the limit for Devin ac athletically because of the, the talents that he was blessed with, but um, he's going to keep coming along and hopefully there'll be some more plays for him to make. How can you get better? You know, I think all our guys can get better. I think our whole team can get better, and that, that's the big thing that, that we got to know. We won one game, and uh, we have a long way to go to be where we want to this year. In the first half, you guys went one for seven on third downs, and then I think when you guys got the lead, you went four for four on third down conversions. Was there something that you guys did differently, or was it an execution for the, for the difference in the struggles? I think it, partly execution. Uh, those guys got tired too. You know, it's hard for us to get our tempo going when we don't get some first downs. And in the second, third quarter, really, we got a couple first downs and started to get them tired, and that made things a little easier. Uh, Marcus made one or two plays, and then. They, they have a really good third down package where they bring an, an odd personnel group onto the field and it's hard to know where they're coming from. It's, it's hard to beat. And uh, once we got going fast, we were able to keep them out of those uh, third down personnel packages. Thank you. Thank you. you bet.